Are you a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world? Well, you might like this Jeep Wrangler 392 2024 with all the modern interior upgrades that you come to expect in a brand new Jeep Wrangler 392. This thing has the Nemesis fenders on here and the brand new Falcon shocks. Uh, what you have to see is on the back how these things mount to the axle and it was no uh, small feat in and of itself to get these things on this rig. You see where the shock and the coils are? They're actually on the back of the axle, um, which allows a ton of travel. You got 38 inch tires, beadlock KMC wheels on it, ADD off-road front and rear bumper. And of course, for good measure, you got the front runner rack system and your Barbie car in case you want to take the kids along and they don't want to uh, drive this thing or drive in this thing. You got it, you got it up there. Uh, Deutsch Off-Road Build, you know they always do cool creative stuff and this is almost like a concept vehicle that they built uh, for the show and I like it, it's pretty red. I think it's going to change completely next year, it's going to be completely overhauled. If I know anything about Deutsch Off-Road, you know he's going to put 44 inch tires on it, put some uh, one ton axles on it and then really start ripping this thing. So it may not look like this for long, but really cool build by Deutsch Off-Road. This is a really cool 20th anniversary 392 Jeep Rubicon with 40 inch Venom Power tires. I haven't heard of those guys before. Some Method Racing wheels, looks like those are, those are true beadlock. We got Terraflex suspension on here with the Artec inner fenders. I love that pop of red tying everything in. We got the Torix uh, roof rack or light bar right there, which is really sick. And I really like this bumper a lot because uh, it's not sticking out in front of the tires. This gives you ton, tons of clearance. So with all that 392 power, uh, you're gonna need it. This is the latest edition of the Jeep Rubicon 392. We gotta get a shout out to Rockslide Engineering Sidesteps, those things are sweet. I bet this thing grips even with 40 inch tires. The only thing I'd like to see on it is one ton axles, but that's just me. We're in the Kaneberg Magnaflow booth with the Beast 392 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Uh, this thing is heavy duty to the extreme. You got beadlock wheels, BFG tires with 37s. Uh, not only that, but you have the Kaneberg lower billet control arms. Looks like we got some King Reservoir shocks with the long travel kit. The interior is modified with some red leather seats. That looks really cool. And overall, I bet it sounds fantastic with that Magnaflow cap back exhaust. We got a Rebel Off-Road Rock Crawler here, a little two-door Jeep Wrangler. It looks like the newer 2025s. Uh, look at the suspension setup on this. They had to trim the hood in order to fit those Kings on it. Uh, just insane. 43-inch Maxxis tires, 42-inch uh, Maxxis MT tires. This is something that you see at like King of the Hammers. You got the full roll cage, the racing seats, uh, a space in the back if you wanted to put a spare tire. The shocks are so big that the reservoirs, uh, your oil reservoirs are inside the cab. And then in the back, we got no spare tire, but a couple jerry cans here just for good measure. A little PCI race radios and some chase lights, which are cool. And of course, a Rebel Off-Road rear bumper. This thing is wild. Uh, Curry axles on it, either one ton or one and a half ton, I'm not sure. Right behind me, we got a sick Deutsch Off-Road build. You know we love our friends at Deutsch Off-Road, starting with the uh, 7075 aluminum memory metal steering kit on there. You have some fuel beadlock wheels that uh, if you like the red color, I think those are pretty sweet. You got some monster Toyo tires on there. I like this Oracle lighting. So whenever you open your door, this actually shines down. I'm not sure what that skid plate is or these side steps, uh, but they look pretty cool. Rugged Ridge has this uh, rear light replacement that I think is really clean. Uh, it just conforms to the body line. And then of course, the spare tire mount for this monster 38 inch Toyo tire. Up top, we got the Rugged Ridge rooftop tent and this tubular rack that mounts to the actual bumper and the body itself. So you don't have to drill into the top of your Jeep. What's really cool about that is you could take the hard top off as well and still keep that rack up, up there if you wanted to, which Jeepers love taking the top off. Yes. We're in the best top booth and I got a cute little two door JL behind me with some Mickey Thompson 40 inch MT tires. These are the Baja Pro XS and you can see how big those 
ridges are on that tire. You could get up and over rocks easily. You got that anti-rock sway bar disconnect right here. A really cool bumper. I'm not sure what brand this is. A little eagle with an N in it, but uh, I like how compact it is. And then in the back, you got the best hop cover, which again, if you want to go safari mode and just flip that thing up, it's really easy to do. Uh, S-Pod controls all the lights. And then overall method wheels. It's a cool build, a nice little rock crawler. Not bad. We're in the best top booth with a cool Jeep Wrangler here. Uh, what I really like about this is the inner fenders and the bumpers are next Venture Motorsports. A really compact bumper that's really just utilitarian. We got some awesome MT tires on here, but really these inner fenders are super clean and rad. You have the Falcon shocks. Those aren't the adjustable ones, but still Falcon makes really good stuff. TerraFlex lift on it. Uh, these skid plates are rad. It's gonna protect your body again that's uh, the same brand and then the fenders are clean overall really clean build and the best top swipe that thing over you could take these side panels off and have uh, the great outdoors come to you in your jeep wrangler we're in the omu booth with a cool hood on this thing uh, you have a see-through window right there which for something like our Jeep Rubicon 392 that had the Whipple Supercharger, I think that would be really cool to be able to see it. Um, you have these storage uh, jerry cans right here, which I like mounting on the side because typically we have a bunch of crap all the way in the back and all over the place. I like that as a spot for storage. A side step, a side window compartment that also doubles as a table. Uh, and you still have your window, which is pretty cool. Good functionality right there. Additional storage on the back, OMU, O-M-U. A uh, winner of the largest approach angle here is the uh, Caliber Jeep Rubicon. This thing has SDI E-Click adaptive suspension on it, deviate off-road front bumpers, inner fenders, and fenders. We got some XD wheels by KMC. I wonder if those are portal axles. Uh, I don't know, pretty cool. Getting this thing up there was probably no feat. Uh, no small feet. We have, speaking of small feet, we have some side steps right here that I've never seen before. I don't even know what those are, but that's an interesting take on side steps. Uh, in the back, we have another DV8 rear bumper, full-size spare, some Max Tracks, a little trash roo with some ducks on it, because that's what Jeep people like, right? Behind me is a Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Most of it is, you know, relatively stock. I like this rack on the back because you could still take your freedom panels off. Uh, these are little side steps to get onto the top of your roof. You got Hercules tires on there in 37s with stock suspension. SB, I'm not sure what SB side steps right here. I don't really like it when you can't remove this piece because this tends to get caught up on uh, different uh, terrain, but this is the 4XE uh, hybrid plug-in and then a decent cool bumper with a smitty built winch. Overall, pretty good, pretty good. All right, I missed this Wrangler originally. It's a 392 built by Deutsch Off-Road sitting on Dynatrack 60s. We got the Deutsch Off-Road steering kit right there with some bead lock Dynatrack wheels. Those are pretty crazy. Baja Boss 44 inch tires. You got the bolt lock system, which allows you to lock up everything with the actual key. So like your key for the Jeep goes into here. This thing is a monster and what you would come to expect from Deutsch Off-Road.